on our way to go boogie boarding at this other beach and it's actually like a military beach but our grandfather was in the military so only like a couple people go into the beach and the waves are great for boogie boarding. Eric is sick by the way so he has not been feeling yeah great so he doesn't see and so he might not be boogie boarding today. He'll just chill by the beach. Look at this, like I can't even record myself because like I look outside and this is the view. Okay, here's something funny. When Eric first met me, he didn't know I was Asian. I don't know how, like everybody knows I'm Asian. Like look at me. You don't look that Asian. Because I'm only half Asian, but Eric just thought I was white, I guess. <laughs> so... Everybody knows. Eric is now being cultured because now he knows I'm Asian and so we're teaching him about all this stuff. Because Hawaii, like I feel like a lot of people have never been to Hawaii or don't know a lot about it. They just think like everyone in Hawaii is just like Hawaiian or like Polynesian. But really it's a lot of like Asian, just like Japanese and Korean people all live in Hawaii. Like my grandfather, mom's dad, he was an immigrant from South Korea and he came to, to Hawaii. And so there's a lot of signs in Japanese and Korean, like even in this car, um, this rental car, like there's little, it's in Korean too. It says, me guk. Anyway, I think we're just getting here, but we're gonna go boogie boarding. We're so excited. It's a great workout. It's really tiring and it's pretty overcast today. So that's nice, we won't get too. Burn to a crisp. Vitamin C, vitamin B complex. I'm sorry, the inside of that looks disgusting. Is it what does it? It looks oh, like a lychee, like, yeah, a baby lychee. Like... What's this? I think that. I think... Wow, that's like so much food. Ew. Oh, it's good. Ew, are you serious? It's like a, a baby lychee. Mm -hmm. Like a big grape. Here at like the front of the boat, I guess. Look at this. So crazy. You can see all of Waikiki behind us. Everything in here is pink. Like it's unreal. Who is she? She's new. We love these guys. This is Melody. Melody? My Melody? My Melody. And who's the other? Where's your bunny that you loved? Her name is like Cinnamon. Here we go. Cinnamon roll? I guess. Is that how you say that? We loved them. I love the frog one. They have Hawaii Hello Kitty. She's only sold in Hawaii. Look how tan she is. Everyone looks better tan. Oh my god. <gasps> what is that? Hi guys, what are we doing today? <laughs> oh my gosh, the <laughs> cheese. We're going to the PCC. What does that stand for? Polynesian Cultural Center. I'm learning about my family's heritage. Eric, it's not your family. Well, oh, that's the one we needed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Eric. We'll get there. Oh my gosh. We're going to the Polynesian Culture Center today. And so it's like, basically it's like a fun place you can go. Like fun How would you describe it, mom? Mom, I see you. It's a main tourist attraction. Whoa. And it is a authentic Whoa. and a recreation of all of the Polynesian islands. Yeah, so there's like different villages. Oh, whoa. So yeah, it's basically like you go and you see, if you're visiting Hawaii, you definitely recommend going. It's like you go and you see different villages of like the different types of Polynesian like people. So there's like the Hawaiians, the Tongans, Samoans, and you get to look, get to know a little bit more about their culture. Yeah, we're having the most scenic view, even though we took a long turn. There are all these trees. 
And Tiff and I have been there like, we go like every time we come, but like it's so fun. And then we're gonna go, it's like a, it says no U-turn. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're going, and then there's like a luau, you can do like a luau dinner, and then there's like a um, hula show that we always go to after, and it's so fun. And then you can also, when you go to the PCC, there's like a little bus tour that'll take you to the Laie Temple, which is one of the temples here in Hawaii. So we're gonna go see it, and it's like seriously one of my favorite temples. We're here, so excited. We had a really good lunch. So good. It was, where was it even from? Uh, I don't know, it was called Tati Grill. It was so good, we had kalbi, which is Korean ribs and garlic shrimp. shrimp. Hey, uncle. One day you're gonna learn manner. I don't think you've even been in the vlog yet. Oh, it's a video. what's up, I'm Uncle Jay. He's our crazy uncle, Jay. and you know Tip. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Bali word, hang on, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Look, they're finally getting along. <laughs> you rub that small piece into the room back and forth. Let's see if he can make smoke. Can you make your own fire? Yeah, like that. Very good. Hang on, I got a lighter. <laughs> Oh, you don't I have a fire. Where are you from? I'm from Kapahulu. Oh, yeah. So you're the line. Turn the line this way. And here we go. The line between the eyes. That's it. That's what I have. Zit, zit. Alright guys, it's a private show. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay. Alright guys. One, two, three, one no. Mom, why'd you try to kiss him on the mouth? I was so shocked. I just saw this little show. Tiff wanted a picture with them because one of them climbed the tree. I wanted a picture with, with, the, old with the old guy. And so then my uncle made my mom and Tiff go up and like sit on their laps and mom tried to kiss one of them on the mouth. So that's what just happened. Oh, really that was cute. I look like I want to <laughs> die because I did. Taylor, yeah, Tiff if you're has watching a boyfriend. This, it was not my fault. Yeah, one of them Taylor, kissed Tiffany. I like, did not. Get those three guys. Huh? That's what you made. Way to fish and it's alive. Oh my gosh. So you're cooking for dinner. Yeah, and he keeps hitting me with it. Oh, he's getting away from oh, me. Oh my. He's a wild one. So we made these little things from coconut leaves and you can. It's a toy. <laughs> We're so Everybody, dumb. Everybody put your line in. Everybody in the water. <laughs> Yeah, Tiff, I like, like it. It's like a, a neck pressure bar. It does. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yes. Let me catch. Keep one foot out of the shower. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Thank you. Someone's going to come yell at you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so how are you going to throw the spear? Throw the spear on your left hand like this, with your index finger pointing at the end. And what are you going to do? You're going to push it. You flick through your hand with a small weight tied in the front. One, two, three. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Whoa, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Eric. <laughs> See, this is where mine was and Eric's. Going down. We did pretty good, guys. Sorry.
are here on temple grounds at the Laie Temple, and it is so awesome, beautiful. Like I've seen pictures of this, you know, and it always like looks like pretty cool, but I didn't realize it actually like looked quite like this. Yeah, it's like a lot of like greenery and stuff that leads up to it, and this is actually the fifth oldest temple, which I didn't know. I always thought it was one of the newer ones. Yeah. Day six today, and we are on our way to lunch with our aunt, and we're going to this really good Korean place we always go to. What is it called? Bowl. Soda bowl. Soda bowl. So after lunch, we're probably gonna go to the Iolani Palace, which was like an old like palace here in Hawaii when Hawaii used to be a monarchy. And also, we're gonna go to this hike. It's called the Manoa Falls, and so there's like a waterfall. And then we might go to the Daiso store. Anyway, we're gonna kind of play it by ear today. Today is not as structured like some of our other days. Also, yesterday we had a bit of a debacle as a family. But what's a family vacation without a big family fight? So we're all good now though. So we're on our way to lunch. Everybody's leaving me in the car, so I better get going. These pants are only $12 from Felt. Cute. This I think is Forever 21. This I think is Forever 21. But I got this hair thing from Copper Sky Boutique. They have this, my favorite mm -hmm. hair stuff. And yeah, that's Cute. this look. Well, most of this outfit is sponsored by my Grammy. She yeah, bought true. me this shirt and this. Oh, is that the top from Brandy? Brandy. Yeah. And I love these it. Or from DI. And I got these from some random shop while we've been here. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, wait, mom, let's see your outfit. I was telling my mom how my pants were $12. She's like, this whole outfit was about $1. Anyway, so we're talking about my mom having this obsessive crush on the guy at the longest oh, drug. No. Can we go there to get a picture of him? Okay, no, here, man, here's the crazy. whole story. So we there's this uh, pharmacy out here, it's called Long's Drugs, and so you can like print out photos there, and so we're getting some for our grandma. And my mom went to go pick up the photos, and she just was smitten with this man. Right, mom? I liked him because he was a local Polynesian guy. And say everything that happened when you accidentally touched his hand. I accidentally touched what? his hand. I was flustered. And then she got embarrassed, so she ran out of the store. Got God. the prints, and I was just going to hurry and get away because I had some other items. It was very embarrassing. And then he said, aren't you going to check the print? And I'm like, no. Ew, why did he I, say that? And he said, well, no, if you don't, you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. So he opened it up. No, I opened it up and I pulled it out. <laughs> what if he like put his number? And then in I said, one? "Oh yeah, it looks you. good." And he's all, "Oh, I remember this one. Beautiful." And then I said, "Oh, what? My God. Beautiful." So I <laughs> and I was flustered until the, I was paying with cash, and it turned out to be thirty dollars and ninety-one cents. But I was so flustered that I mean, I normally have trouble with math, but this time. I pulled out a 20, a 10, that was the 30, and then to cover the 91 cents, I handed him another 10. And he kind of looked at me and he saw, uh... Another 10. He said something, I don't even remember He said, do you was. have a $1 bill, He's all, and I'm like, oh, 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 sorry. That's what Pam does. So then I gave him a one, and there was some change, and when he gave it to me, I kind of like, our fingers brushed. So then oh, I had to just do get out of there. You need to pick up the change. I had to just get out of there quickly. So I packed everything in the bag and I said, thank you. And I ran out. But then, but as then. I was exiting the door, he called to me and he said, excuse me. And he gave me a, like a coupon for a $2 off my next purchase. And then I just ran out. And we, Eric and I were wondering, we're like, we'll like run after her to give her the coupon. His number must have been on it. <laughs> That's what I said. But she no. threw it away, so we will never know. Bro, so then anyway, then last night, Eric, or my mom was telling Eric and I this story, and Tiff was asleep, but she was um, oh, saying, so I was like, well, we should go back and you should get his phone number. And she said, no, I don't want his phone number. I just want to take a picture of him and just have the picture of him on my phone, right? Yeah. Care to explain? She just wants to be well, no, creepy, that's get, all. Can I just get a picture with him? So you didn't say with him. With him? him? Yeah. You said, Why? You said of him. No, with him. 
That's not what you but said. But like, what is the point of that anyway? So then anyway, then Eric is like, well, that's like creepy. That's like in Hey Arnold with the girl who has the shrine of Arnold, you know? And then mom's like, yeah, I think his name was Arnold. No, it wasn't. <laughs> that's what you well, said. So you told us. So then anyway, we're talking about Hey Arnold. And I hey, love that little waterfall. Eric, every time there's a fountain or waterfall, <laughs> Eric's like, ooh, look. And we're like, it's Sorry, not that they're cool. cool, folks. Anyway, so we started talking. Literally, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with the Hey Arnold movie. Here it is. Can anyone relate? So anytime Tiff and I wanted to watch a movie, I was like, let's watch the Hey Arnold movie. Let's watch the Hey Arnold movie. And Tiffany never <laughs> wanted to. She always said, no, no, no. And the only movie she ever wanted to watch was Dougal. Dougal. Does Dougal. anybody know and, what Dougal is? And Eric no, is like, what's Dougal? Thing. No, Dougal but it's the real. Movie. We have the DVD. Are we sure it's actually? We did. It's about a dog. It's, he's a dog Dougal. with like really floppy ears and he'll go on adventures and stuff. No, like, he had to like uh, save the people that were frozen in the carousel. <gasps> yeah! I know. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. Who has seen Dougal? Because seriously, that was such a good movie. movie. On a really beautiful trail right now it's so pretty like this doesn't even look real right like a lot of people when they come to Hawaii on vacation they just go to the beach like every day and that's totally fine like some people really like that but there's so much more to Hawaii than just beaches like the jungle area is so cool <laughs> This is the beautiful spot that we just took pictures for this company that sponsored me. This is called, this is a Vure bag. It is so amazing. It's this like gym bag, tote bag, but it has a spot especially for, for a yoga mat. So if you do yoga, this is like the most amazing bag. So we just did some yoga pictures here and it is absolutely gorgeous. Like, can you believe this view? It's so pretty. There's so many natural like flowers and trees and bushes that you just don't see. So now it's just Eric and I and our uncle, my uncle, and Tiff and mom are, were so pooped they couldn't do another hike. So we're gonna go now and do the Manoa Falls hike, which is where there's like a beautiful waterfall at the end and we might jump in, but you're not supposed to, but we'll see what happens. I want to. Anyway. We'll see you. French fries in so long, we're having withdrawals. No. Hey, hey, so I realized that like, during a lot of the stuff during the day, like we didn't really do many updates. We've been having a great time so far. Tomorrow is our last day, which is really sad, but we've gotten to do like everything that we've wanted to do. What's been your favorite part, Eric? Um, I mean, just be able to see Hawaii has been cool. So like today we went to like that garden area was really awesome as well as the hike. Just be able to really see like the island itself. What about you, Mom? What's your favorite part? Well, I think the PCC was really cool. Yeah. Actually, my favorite part is just being able to hang out with you guys. Oh, I know, that's the thing. Like, we've been able to see a lot of our family while we've been here, and we've spent a lot of time just together as an immediate family because we're all 
staying in the same place. Tonight we went to this place called the Rainbow Grill for dinner and we got our food and then we just ate it like by the beach. Oh, Rainbow Drive-In. Rainbow Drive-In. And we watched the sunset. And now we're gonna go to this other like, what is it called? Snow Factory. Snow Factory, so I guess it's like a, what is it? A shave ice mixed with an ice cream? Yeah. So it sounds really good. So we're gonna go check that out. We've been really trying to get a lot of different like food that is like unique, you know, to here. Like today we got Korean food and it was amazing because there's not really, I don't think many good Korean places in Utah. Like here is the best. So we've been eating a lot, like way too much, but that's just what you do when you're on vacation. This is really good. Do you like it? Yeah. Absolutely. Explain to me what okay. it is, all the parts. Tell us what's going on here, okay, Joe. So this is like mochi. A mochi <laughs> bit that tastes like coconut. This is azuki beans, you know that thing at the bottom of banana ice cream when you get some of that ice cream. Beans? Bean. Bean. Azuki bean. Oh, I don't know like what a, that is. It's a bean. Like a, it's a Japanese thing. Okay. So it's kind of got a sweet, Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not describing that, but that's a good local thing. Okay. Wait, She's show me the one. consistency. That's yeah. so weird. Yeah, that. It's like Nothing fluffy me. air ice, right? Oh. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Good. Morning, it's our last day in beautiful Hawaii. We're so sad, but we're here at a breakfast place called Coco Head Cafe. Okay, if you come to Hawaii, remember to bring quarters because you have to have a quarter to pay like anytime you have to park. So just keep that in mind if you get a rental car. Okay, so today we're just gonna go get breakfast. We're gonna go back to our Airbnb and like clean up and pack up everything because we have to check out by two. And then we are gonna go to the Daiso store and to Pearl Harbor. And yeah, just we'll kind of walk around our last day. <laughs> We ordered something weird. We got it's French toast, but it's like weird. It's like gelato it's on it. Plate. Black it's pepper maple. Plate. Yeah, like a bunch of stuff. And then we got this skillet, which would be normal like eggs and stuff. But this place is supposed to be famous for the French toast. So we'll see how that goes. Just got our food. This is our skillet that we got. So what all is it? So this is tempura kimchi. There's eggs. Beef. Uh, beef patty and gravy. And rice. And then we got our French toast, cornflake French toast, and that's gelato on top of bacon and syrup. Where are we? Oh, I thought you were gonna take a picture. No. We're at the Pearl Harbor. Um, memorial site. It's literally two million degrees outside at the moment. You, I put this under my arm for one second and it has a bunch of sweat on it. Yummy. It's hot. So I know I didn't vlog much while we were there, but we just got done at the Pearl Harbor Museum. It was seriously so cool. Like, I don't know, like I'm not super into like war stuff, but when we went, like what's cool is you see like even like the clothing and you read personal accounts from people and that's always like a cool part. I know like museum and stuff doesn't seem all that exciting, but if you're ever like here, like we highly recommend going. Um, so then on a happier note, now we're going to Leonard's Bakery. It's like very famous. They have malasadas, which is a kind of donut. Portuguese donut. A Portuguese donut? What's, is there anything inside or like what is it? No idea. We don't know. <laughs> so we'll go see. So yeah, we're gonna go get malasadas and then we're gonna go to this like place where they have a bunch of like street art, like murals, and we're gonna take pictures. And then we are gonna go to this place called the Daiso store. So it's like, if you've heard of Daiso clay, that's like, I guess they make other stuff. It's like a Japanese little trinket store. Yeah, we'll make a separate video on that. So just stay tuned for that. It'll be super fun. We just got our malasadas by Eric. So here's what they look like. Chocolate, custard, plain cinnamon. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, he's it's a big boy. Mmm. 
fella. I don't like the chocolate that much. Uh oh. Because it tastes like hot cocoa. Mm. It literally tastes like warm, like, pudding. pudding. What's this one? Just normal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the outside and the is good. The wrapped one is the cinnamon one. It's so fluffy. Uh -huh. Literally so fluffy inside, like I can't. They're so good. My man. My man. <laughs> <laughs> brought Hanks for dinner for Tiff. You, would you get? Yeah. She got a hot dog. And she's getting an acai <laughs> bowl. Is it uh, acai or acai? It's acai. But everyone's been acai. Mm. Uh, Eric didn't want to get this food, so he went to go look for something food. else. I'm just gonna get whatever he gets. I don't know. I trust him more than Tiff. <gasps> I just wanted a hot dog. She would have got a two dollar hot dog off the street, but luckily she's here where Guy Fieri has been. Love it. Oh my gosh. Got her hot dog. Ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. What's on it? You even know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, we're at the Haka. Ha-a-kia, how do you say this? Ha-ha-a-kai? Ha Ha-a-kai market. We just had our last meal before we left. Today we had like just like a barbecue. We've had so much like barbecue Korean food. It's honestly so good. So we had our last meal and we're so sad, but we're heading to the airport right now. 